I'm Jim McAvoy, and this is the story of, well, me. I was born in a small Kansas town and moved to the Pacific Northwest to get a job. And get wet. It rains here a lot. That's not just an overstatement people repeat. It really rains here all the time. I moved here to get a job with Microsoft. And depending on how this epic piece of television history is distributed, I may currently be at Amazon, Google, or still at Microsoft after all these years. Well, Jim, you know, Boeing's a big employer here as well, and I know they're always hiring good people. Yeah, but we can't use their facilities. Well, like you'd get any further with Google. <laughs> oh, Starbucks is up here also. Uh, guys, guys, it's not a real job we're talking about. It's just my job in the series. I'm not really applying. These are my friends Robert and Jill Bridge. Robert's a friend of mine from American Mensa. For those of you who don't know Mensa, it's a members-only organization for smart people. And Jill is Robert's trophy wife. She's sweet and interesting. And by interesting, I mean she's not too bright and kind of a gold digger. Hey, hey, hey. You can't use the G word. That's our word. <laughs> and it doesn't mean what you think it means. Does it, my little gold diggy winky? No, 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 no. Yeah, oh, sorry. I'm also a big Star Trek fan. Nerd. And I'm a member of the local inventors club. And that's absolutely everything you need to know about me. Oh yeah, and I'm married. Amy's my wife. She's a tax attorney a few years out of law school, and she really knows her stuff when it comes to tax law. You know how you dread getting audited? The auditors dread getting Amy'd. I love her dearly. She's quite the women's rights activist. She thinks that women should rule the world. I think they already do. I just won't admit to it. When she gets started on her women should rule the world rant, I can't help but think of that movie Jurassic Park. I don't remember everything about that film, but there are two things I will never forget. The first, all the dinosaurs were chicks. Well, because all the animals in Jurassic Park were female. The second, Things did not end well. I know I wasn't there when God made women, but sometimes I imagine it going something like this. So what's left on our list of creation? We've been at this for nearly a week, and I need at least one day of rest. You know how I am when I get tired! Oh, a mate for Adam. We're going for the working title of Whoa Man. You know, like, Whoa Man! Hmm. Actually, I like it. Let's use it. I will now create woman. So what do we have left over for her? Well, maybe we should not have waited until I could last. Um, an extra rib from man, and oh, some leftover deer eyes. Well, those are pretty. Let's use those. And some baby seal skin, very soft and the long, beautiful, flowing mane of a wild horse. Wow, Peter, this could really work. What do we have left over for emotional temperament? Mm. All we have left is an injured honey badger. Ah! <laughs> well, I suppose we can always go back and do it again. doing some cutscenes, but mainly just things I'd be thinking about. It ties the storyline to who I am as a person. You'll be able to get inside my head this way. Got any eights? We're playing poker, honey. I know. I just was seeing if you were working on a straight. Do you not see my poker face? Jill married Robert back when she thought he was the richest man she'd ever find. Robert married Jill because he thought she was the absolute hottest woman he'd ever get. One was right, and one was wrong. Hey, hey, we already drew cards. It's time to show. Oh, okay, um, flush. Hey, 
in case you haven't figured it out, Jill is the absolute hottest woman Robert will ever get. Good job, honey. <laughs> also, in the actual pilot, we have this crazy funny recreation of the opening scene from Saving Private Ryan, where I play a soldier. Jim! <laughs> Jim! Jim! Honey! I'm kind of busy out here. Jim, you might want to go see what she wants. I know that lilt in her voice. You really should go see. Jim, I need you. I'm coming. To be fair, I should probably mention that I don't always listen too well. What do I have to do today? Amy, are you in there? I know it's Thursday. Maybe I'll head out with Robert and get a beer. It's been a while since I've got some chicken wings. Maybe I'll get buffalo or barbecue or blue box. The blue box? Yes, the blue box. Just get it. It's an emergency. Amy? Honey, are your eyes bothering you? No, I'm having some major girl issues. <laughs> The elevator? I am not ready for this. You are Jim McAvoy? Yeah. We're here to drop off your wife's criminally insane twin sister and we'll be back to pick her up in a week. But? Yeah, keep in mind that she doesn't know that she's crazy, so you absolutely can't say anything about her behavior. But, but. Jim. Thank you so much for taking care of my criminally insane sister. I hope it's not too much of a burden. Okay, bye. Hey. Hey. Hey, if and when you do say something stupid, I left a first aid kit on the counter. So I saw this show on TV last night. <laughs> oh God, what am I supposed to do now? This one. It's a ploy. Something bad is coming. So did you get me something? Um... Yes? Really? I totally thought you would have forgotten. Yeah, it's our anniversary, right? Three weeks. No. It's not our official anniversary. I knew you would forget. Come on, don't be silly. Then what anniversary is it? It's... The first time you and I held hands. No, it's not. It's the first time you called me by my super cute nickname, AIM. You called me AIM instead of Amy. For the first time, we were eating pizza. Oh, right. Aim. Did I happen to say that between ready and fire by any chance? Great. I know what's coming next. The question she uses when she wants to start a fight. Jim! Jim! Does this make me look fat? No, honey, it's your fat that makes you look fat. Now, I should probably mention that each of these questions have a correct answer and a right answer. 
I know you can't see this, but I'm using air quotes on the right answer. Anyway, I obviously didn't call Amy fat. That would be the correct answer. I gave the right answer. I told her this. No, honey, no fancy pants designer could ever make a cut of fabric that would make you look fat. Again, they're the correct answer. Yes, dear. They really do make your butt look gigantic. And the right answer. Okay, I see what you're saying. But that just shows how small and trim your waist is. Almost in the clear. But she brought back up. She's bringing the best friend. Jim, do you think Regan's prettier than I am? Yeah, in all honesty, I think you look like dry dog food next to Regan. In fact, if I'd seen her first, I most likely would not have asked you out on a second date. Now, I know you think I'm a terrible husband for even having this thought, but Regan is an underwear model. Literally, she gets paid to walk around in her underwear. Of course I've thought these things. I'm not made of stone. But I love Amy, so here's how it actually played out. Jim, do you think Regan's prettier than I am? I never noticed. So, you were in our wedding, right? I was the maid of honor. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was a big day for me. I'm sorry, it's just uh, ever since we got married, I guess I never really noticed other women. Aw, Jim. So sweet. Did you shave? Yeah, uh, Jill said I needed to shave and dress up for dinner. Well, how long were you going that thing? Nine years. <laughs> so we don't go to the movies next week. If I'm gonna pay $25. Hi, uh, can I take your order? Yes, I think a nice salad and a soup would make for a good light dinner. I want some fish, something light, you know. I bet fish has fewer calories than salad. Fish is excellent tonight, and only market price. Honey, I wouldn't suggest eating fish after the Fukushima disaster. Fish absorb iodine, and the iodine they're absorbing is the bad kind. Not the good kind, like your thyroid gland processes. Robert, why would the fish absorb iodine? I mean, I know they're just fish, but they're not stupid. I'm sure they know better than to touch that stuff. No, it, it just happens because they're fish and they live in the water. The fish aren't deliberately ingesting radioisotopes. You just don't want me to order the fish because it's market price. You think that ever since we got married, it's okay for me to be a cheap date. I'll be right back. Honey, you know that market price is just a code word that waiters use to see how much money you're willing to spend. You watch, the waiter's going to start saying a higher number to gauge my reaction. You should read the book on neuro-linguistic programming and how market researchers use psychology to wring money out of your pockets. There's your culprit in the Aya iodine conspiracy. The marketing people stand to make more than anybody selling you iodine-free fish. Jim wouldn't cheap out on his date during date night. Jim would spend money on Amy because he loves Amy. Maybe Jim has the money to spend. How much money do you make, Jim? And there it is. The reason we do what we do in suburban Seattle. Keeping up with the neighbors. We all have to be as well off or have as much stuff as people next door. I don't think we really need to play keeping up with the Joneses. Does it, does it really matter how much we make? I'm not talking about the Joneses. I'm asking if you have enough money to keep Amy well fed. I mean, it looks like you do, but uh, come on, how much do you make? I mean, six. I mean, last year after taxes. I made fifth, forty, seven, six, five hundred. I made forty-six thousand five hundred dollars last year after taxes. I only made forty-six five. No wonder I can't afford market price. I made one hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars last year. You know, women will marry based on income. Maybe I should have married Amy. It all goes back to our Ice Age ancestors. The more things they have, the better chance of survival both the individual and the species have. Ancient cavemen used to hunt on foot. 
and kill mammoths by hand in order to eat. Well, I suppose you would have starved in prehistoric times. Because if you wouldn't? Well, we can assume that with my superior intellect, I would devise a way to trap the beast using brain over brawn, hence ensuring my place as the head of the tribe. My seed would have been very desirable. Yeah, Robert's seed would have been all over the Neolith world. But you know the real reason that ancient man ate mammoth meat? Ancient women. That's why. Amy hungry. Get meat. Jim want plant food and grow crops. Have land. Make food. How long that take? Many moons. Amy hungry now. Get meat. Amy. Jim brought food. Rabbit. Amy cook. Give me no light, saber tooth rabbit, small and greasy. Bog would have mastodon for dinner. Why Amy not have mastodon? This good rabbit has sharp teeth, was hard to trap and kill. Og wife have mastodon for dinner and wear mammoth coat. Why Amy eat and wear rabbit? Og lie about meat, make otter coat, say mastodon. And Og have cave stone, keep out cold and wind, why we know have cave stone. Okay. Amy right. I really think that Amy and I are a pretty good and normal couple, but I gather that from watching our married friends. How's your life going? Are you still in the newlywed zone? Has the sex died down yet? No, it's all good. Uh, say, does Amy close her eyes? You know, like, uh, during... Well, maybe. Probably. I guess I never really stopped to notice. Why does... does Jill? Yeah, but I think it's just kind of a woman thing. Yeah. Because guys keep their eyes open and, and women close them. Yeah, well, if you think about what they have to go through, it makes sense. They would close their eyes. Effects and orgasm. Or rather, organism. Damn it, I knew I was going to say that. Wow, yeah. Uh, I, when you put it that way, I, I can see why they would, they would close their eyes. If I had to see me, you know, during, I would probably lose all respect for myself. What's what are you talking about? Nothing. Nothing. But you know something? Since I've been married, I've got a left sock for every right one and they're usually clean. I also get sex if I play my cards just right. No more telling women that I personally know Bill Gates or that I've got stock options that are good investments long-term just to impress them at the bar. I can just be the real me. And Amy accepts me for who I am with all my faults. At the end of the day, I think we can all learn a little something from the relationships in this show. If we wanna be with the women we love, men might just have to give up, give in, shut up, and realize she's right, even when she's not.